as you as you can see I've um, set up the um, propagator with the IKEA uh, LED lights um, about 25 quid I think um, what it was last last year so it's that time of year it's to sow, sow the chilies um, bits and bobs like that that need a bit of heat and light this is a, a Lakoto um, uh, chili pepper it, um, it's quite hot, it's about as hot as a habanero it's, uh, it's ripe, it's now getting squishy, it's rotting so what I'm going to do is remove the seeds because it's time to sow some uh, sow some uh, some chilli seeds so um, actually I don't want to go to I don't want to get this up underneath my nails either because it's quite hot there we, go, there we go and they're black seeds it's the only type of chilli that has black seeds so but um, well, you can see that Anyway, the, um, so we're going to remove these seeds, dry them off, keep a few for later in case I blow it. And um, I'm not going to eat this because it is rotting. The advantage of using um, collecting seeds from chilies that are past it is that they will be the seeds will be ripe as well. And, um, but yeah, these are. It's quite a tasty chilli because they're, they're, they're quite hot like a habanero, well very hot like a habanero. Thick walled, you saw how thick that is, and um, quite big. I, um, I use a mix of, um, bear with me. I, I um, use a mix of uh, grit and um, really good compost. None of this compost has got wood in it. It's got to be really good stuff. Otherwise, a total waste of time. Be fine. Like that. No wood. No bumps. Anyway, plenty of grit in there for, for drainage. And... Um, do is uh, take um, five or six of those seeds um, and uh, lay them on the surface. One, two, five. And uh, put some cling film over the top of it. I'm going to put this in the propagator so we'll get um, some heat heat underneath this um, this plant is in need of a pruning it's looking really ugly um, I had enough of looking at it I think the the fruits are um, it's putting energy into the fruits away from leaves so I'm trying to keep it alive so anyway so I'm going to remove the fruits and um, some of the some of the branches make it look a bit tinier
So uh, that's that then. Um, so why have we done it? Um, well, it's a strategy to get a chilli through the uh, winter is to cut it right back, take all the leaves off. And it's a strategy that, that uh, works for a lot of people. Um, but it's, um, for me last year, I just left the leaves on. Um, as you can see over here, you've got um, a, another, it's more, it was meant, it's called Barantia, it was meant to have been a chilli plant, but the, the chilies are sweet, uh, the, um, the peppers are sweet, but they're tiny little things. Well, they're not massively tiny, but they're, they're you know, can you see that? I'm not focusing. Um, so it's... But the, the the plants are uh, you know it's it's January uh, indoors in England so the you know the leaves are still on there and they were on this last year now this is entering its third year it's a um, chilies uh, perennials and uh, this is entering its third year as well this is um, jalapeno um, thoroughly enjoyed eating these. It's not a beautiful plant. Um, the the chilies are beautiful to eat. This is a much more beautiful plant. Um, you know, in the middle of summer, with loads and loads of chilies on, which are quite hot. I like them both green and yellow. They go to they ripen to yellow. Yellow, they're much hotter, but there's like a spicy lemony edge to it, and the green ones are just green and hot and green. But anyway, yeah. So that's the so that was the um, so that's what we've been doing. So because it was it was is not happy, I've cut it back as an as a um, because leaving the leaves on is a bit more chance here. It just can't handle all the extra energy it requires, and just cutting it right back um, is what everybody else does. So anyway, that's that.